Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be doing a showcase on the new 5 star character Shenha. Shenha is a 5 star crowd support that specializes in buffing the crowd damage of your teammates. So for her kit, Shenha is a 5 star polar user, and for this showcase I will be showcasing her with an R5 deathmatch. The reason I'm using this weapon is because I think it's more better suited for her, because not only does it give a good amount of crit rate, but at refinement 5, the passive does give her a lot of attack percentage, a lot than an attack sense gives you. So that is why I'm using um, R5 Deathmatch on her. And for her build, I am using her on 4 piece Blizzard Slayer because I do plan to always use her in a freeze comp because I feel like that's the most useful comp that she can be in. For her artifacts, these are her pieces. For Constellation, I have C1 on her, and for her talents, I have 688, and when looking over her talents, her first one is basically simple, normal attack, charge attack, and plunge attack, etc. Her second one, her second talent basically deals crowd damage while also giving your teammates a buff, and it has two functions. It has a press function and a hold function. In the press function, it makes her rush forward, dealing crowd damage to any enemies she hits, and for hold, it, she basically deals crowd damage in an AoE form. And for the buff, it's called Icy Quill. It basically increases the crowd damage of your teammates based on Shenha's current attack. And whenever you activate this effect, it gives every single party member their own set of stacks. And the number of stacks that you get also depends on which function you use of her E. The duration of the stacks also lasts depending on the duration of which function you use her E in. The duration of this effect ends whenever your character uses up all their stacks or whenever her E is off cooldown. The duration for both press and hold is 10 to 50 seconds and the amount of stacks that each character gets is between 5 and 7. And now going into her burst called Divine Maiden's Deliverance, it unleashes the power of a talisman spirit which basically deals AoE crowd damage where any enemy that is within that field decreases their cryo resistance and physical resistance and it also deals cryo damage periodically. And when looking into her passives, her first passive is that whenever an active character that is within her burst field gains 50% more cryo damage. Her second passive also kind of sort of changes the way you use her E, depending on which function you use her E, gives you a certain buff. For example, you press her E, it increases your skill and burst damage by 50% for 10 seconds, and if you hold E, it increases your normal charge and plunging attack damage by 50% for 15 seconds, basically the same duration as the press and hold function. That's a quick show of her kit, now let's move on to the showcase. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, that is it for the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Shenha. Honestly, at first I wasn't really sure about her, but then after using her a bit more, I kind of got a little bit more of a feeling on how to use her more frequently. Not only evolving around her E, but also her burst as well. Now, some tips and tricks that I learned with Shenha is that her burst can get in the way because you do kind of want to synchronize her burst with her E as well. Not only decreasing crowd resistance of enemies, but also increasing crowd damage of your teammates as well. I do feel like she definitely shines more in freeze comps or overall just cryo comps as well also i think in regards of her build there's uh three different builds that could be good on her one being just full on noblesse and being a full on support just building a lot of attack percentage and a lot of er because her burst is a heavy cost at 80 energy cost another build that's more balanced is two piece attack and two piece cryo if you do want a more balanced build between damage and support and for a full on damage build I think 4-piece Blizzard Stir is the way to go because the 4-piece effect from this gives you a lot of crit rate which allows you to build a lot of crit damage on your Shenha but you also want to keep an eye on your energy recharge because it definitely can get in the way when doing your rotations with her. Also another thing with Shenha, I feel like she's too strict on certain teammates that you can use with her because since she only buffs cryo damage, you do really want a cryo DPS and I feel like the only characters that you can really use with her is Ayaka and or Ganyu because they're both cryo DPS. So one, I do think she is a good support in the role that she was designed to be in. But at the same time, I just feel like there are other units that just do the same role but can also fit in other team comps as well. For example, Rosaria and Kea. So in the end, I think she is very good in the role that she designs. But at the same time, she is very restrictive in the units that you use with her and in the certain team comps that you can utilize her in. Alright, that is everything I have to say about Shenha. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a like. Subscribe for more content in the future. That is all I have to say and hope you guys have a wonderful day.